everyone. Welcome back to GRPC channel. I'm Maintainer Ivy. Today, we will have a very interesting topic about a critical piece in network architecture, which is recently supported by GRPC called Weighted Round Robin LB Policy, or WRR. There are many technical details. Bear with me. WR is an enhancement of basic round robin, where instead of giving equal distribution to servers, you assign uh, weights to control traffic proportion. In gRPC, the weight can be based on the utilization on the server machine or other factors. An utilization matrix is dynamically generated based on the server status at runtime. We learned that WR works extremely well for heterogeneous environments as it balances between QPS and utilization. It reduces tail latencies in some environments. It provides fairness among workloads and potentially customization of the traffic distribution. To learn more about how gRPC WR works, first we go through an underlying algorithm. In principle, WR is based on the earliest deadline-first scheduling, which is a dynamic priority scheduling algorithm. Each task arriving in the system has a deadline. This deadline is the time by which the task must be completed. The task with the earliest deadline is given the highest priority. If multiple tasks have the same deadline, the order in which they receive priority will depend on the implementation. Type breaking rule like first come, first serve. The processor always uh, focuses on executing the task with the highest priority based on its deadline. Here is a walkthrough of the algorithm with an example. We have three processes running tasks shown in the bottom table. Each task has execution time and period. The top table shows which process is scheduled at a certain time. Each block with a number labeled is a time slice. The alternating color in the blocks indicates the task period. P1's period is 8, so its deadline is at the end of block 7. P2's deadline is 5, P3 is 10. At time 0, we pick the earliest deadline item to process, which is P2. It takes uh, two time slices to finish. After P2 is finished, its next deadline is at uh, time block 9. Now at time slice two, we will schedule P1 because this is earlier than right now. It takes one time slice to finish. At time three, because P2 and P3 have the same deadline now, we pick the P3 as it's earliest in the queue and we spend four time slices and so on and so forth. Applying this earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm, gRPC implemented the weighted round robin algorithm. Each backend weight is calculated from this formula, considering the QPS divided by utilization. The reverse of the weight is the period. We maintain a priority queue in the ascending order of the deadline among all of the items, and we always pick the smallest priority in the queue. We will add its period, put it back to the priority queue, reshuffle, and do the next pick. In the end, the times that the back ends are picked is proportional to its weight. This algorithm is straightforward and works. However, there are certain scalability limitations. For example, we cannot pick back ends concurrently. Weights cannot be updated in flight. Google engineers internally came up with a new algorithm based on observation of running this algorithm. The improved algorithm, we call it static stride scheduling. It's very simple, but it overcomes the limitation of earliest, earliest deadline first. Let's talk a bit more about how it works. Everything is in this formula. Boolean variable x backend generation means whether we select this backend in a generation. Here, the generation is the number of the round we do the picks. In each generation, we iterate through all of the backends. For example, we have backend weights 2, 3, 6 for a total of 3 servers. Max weight is 6. At the generation 0, x value of b0 is calculated as follows. The left side of the equation is weight times generation mod max weight results 0. 
right side of the equation, max weight minus weight is uh, 4. So x value is false. x value of b1 is false. b2 is true. So in the first generation, we pick only b2. In the second generation, we pick b1 and b2, and so on and so forth. At the end of five generations, we see that B0 is picked twice, B1 is picked three times, and B2 six times. That is equal to the weight distribution. The advantage of this algorithm is that we can pick concurrently because we don't affect the results of other backends when we are doing calculation based on this formula. This solved the scalability problem we had earlier. Now let's take a look at how to enable WR in gRPC. WR can be used with or without traffic director. Here are the client side configuration. If we use with traffic director, we configure it through the custom LB policy. Uh, we put in weighted round robin as the name of the LB policy and also the configuration parameters. We can also use uh, without TD. This is done through service config. We can specify gRPC's load balancing policy a weighted round robin in the JSON format. There are more fine-tuned parameters to configure. Check out grfc A58 linked here about all the parameters. I will put the link in the description box. This is for the client side. The downfall of WR is that we have to set the server to produce metrics. This is supported by custom backend metrics or ORCA feature. It is mandatory that applications install metric reporting infrastructure and constantly update the metrics on the metrics recorder. gRPC does not compute utilization, utilization metrics for the applications. Um, this code snippet shows that the application uses gRPC API to register metrics reporting and then send metrics from the server to the client. For more details about in and out of Orca, we will discuss in a separate video in the future. Finally, we will recap the benefits of WRR. And we would love to learn more about the performance characteristics of WRR in your specific environment. You can reach us on GitHub, gpc.io, YouTube, or in-person meetups. I have included the resources on the next page. Thank you. Bye.